Coltine Whale Dent is very pleased to introduce the Perfect Tissue Contouring System 2. Perfect TCS2 is a state-of-the-art affordable electrosurge designed to appeal to the dentist in general practice not currently using electrosurgery. Few technologies have the potential equal to electrosurgery for enhancing efficiency and improving the results of soft tissue management. Perfect TCS is designed to help you manage soft tissue with greater efficiency, greater precision, simplicity, and less bleeding without complications or wasting of your time. The unit is a high frequency one, implying low electric current. This unit facilitates a number of routine procedures, namely aesthetic recontouring of the tissue, bleeding control in the gingival sulcus, elimination of excess gum to have access to subgingival lesions, as well as managing the tissue to facilitate taking impressions. As you can see, the control panel is laid out for easy operation. These are the jacks for the dispersal electrode and the handpiece. This is the on-off switch. And this rotating knob controls output power for either the cutting or the coagulation mode. Now the perfect TCS2 is ready for use. The Perfect TCS2 uses three sterilizable electrodes. This is the straight knife electrode. This is the long loop electrode. And this is the coag ball electrode. In preoperative cutting practice on fresh lean beef, the operator has two main goals. First, to develop an effective cutting stroke that will remove tissue precisely without causing an excessive buildup of lateral heat. Second, to learn which power settings are appropriate for specific techniques, use a piece of fresh lean beef in preoperative cutting practice. Is it always necessary to use the dispersive electrode? Yes, because it ensures a more consistent power output by providing an efficient pathway for the radio frequency current. During normal use, the electrode would be placed behind the patient's back. Now we are doing a cut of approximately four centimeters. For that cut, an assistant will be used to set the power output to high. As you can see, we have deliberately set the output power to the highest setting. Why is that? What do you observe? You can see that the electrode cuts easily, but the tissue around the cut is discolored and charred. Now let's do the cut, but this time the power is turned on a very low setting. See what happens? You can see that when the power is too low, the electrode encounters resistance and tissue shreds adhere to it. It does not cut at all. When tissue shreds adhere to the electrode tip, wipe the tip with a soft alcohol-soaked cloth. Experience has shown it will produce good results. It is important that you take into consideration a finger rest and the proper brush-like motion. A lower setting will guarantee a clean cut. Now let's do another cut. As you can see, once we use the right amount of power, the result is a clean and precise cut. Now we are going to use the long loop electrode. This technique is ideal for gingival contouring or removing excess tissue.
Now we're going to simulate a coagulation. For that, we will use the coag ball electrode. It will be an effective coagulation when the treated area blanches. Therefore, activate the electrode and touch the ball tip lightly on the meat for about half a second. Blanching indicates a successful coagulation. Repeat this technique at a successively higher output setting until blanching occurs. When bleeding occurs in association with cavity preparations and retraction cord placements, it frequently delays restorative procedures. With perfect TCS2, you can easily and immediately stop bleeding with a touch of the coag ball electrode. To finalize, we're going to practice with a straight knife electrode, which is very useful for hard to reach areas. The following are important points to remember when creating a gingival margin. 1. Position the electrode in a tight angle. This will create an effective margin and it will preserve the gingival height after healing. 2. Before doing the cut, do some practice strokes without activating the electrode. 3. Do four cuts, waiting 10 seconds in between them instead of doing the cut at once. 4. You can use the Perfect TCS2 as an alternative to the retraction cord or in combination with this technique to facilitate immediate impression taking. This is ideal for bleeding gums. Two weeks later, the coagulated area has healed perfectly. Using the long loop electrode, shave the tissue with a smooth, short stroke, as seen in the video. As you can see, Dr. Nicole has taken one pass with a long loop electrode. The electrode neatly and cleanly removes the occluding tissue. Tissue Elimination – Removing Excess Gingival Tissue to Cement Braces If bleeding occurs, it can be readily controlled by coagulation. Use the coag ball electrode for effective coagulation.
General recommendations. 1. Verify that anesthesia is deep. 2. Place a drop of aromic oil in the upper lip. 3. Apply the electrode with a light and fast pressure. 4. Move the electrode to a minimum speed of 7 mm per second. 5. Select the function, either cut or coag. 6. Adjust the controls to the recommended numbers. 7. Do not do the cut in the first attempt. 8. Wait between 8 to 10 seconds between cuts. The cases you have seen are some, but far from all, of the most common applications of electrosurgery for a dentist in general practice. In a variety of everyday procedures, Perfect TCS2 enables you to manage soft tissue with greater efficiency, greater precision, and less bleeding. As you gain experience with electrosurgery techniques, you will find many additional ways in which Perfect TCS2 can save costly chair time, enhance therapeutic results, and provide considerable professional satisfaction.